Hello and welcome back. Wednesday. You know how it is, you know how we do. Five rounds, four minutes apiece, challenge start. Been around the world and I I I I hate this image. I don't know where and I don't know why GeoGuessr keeps making these choices. Uh That's all I got. How's your week going? You made it halfway through. Somehow. I mean I don't know how I did it either. Sheer will and perseverance. Okay, dumb observation. Saw that trailer and this. What's it called? Fancy, like, house that has this front porch thing. I feel we're in the south. I'm going to click Bama. Let me go from there. Oh. I'm not going to say anything more about bad images because you know as well as I do how much I have a healthy disdain for it. It keeps teasing me with semi-okay pictures as we move along down the road here. But as we go, and hopefully I can see a little bit more information to help me narrow down where we are, I want to talk about something. As I mentioned before, um... I listen to a lot of podcasts where I work. I just recently have a new job and can't listen to as many as I used to. Just means that the ones I listen to, I make time for. And uh, the one I listen to, that's really interesting. Actually, the podcast itself is just interesting in general. It's Radiolab. Um, came out last week or the week before. I don't know what the name or title of it is. Or the number for that matter. I just know that the first, the previous couple before that were kind of short. This one's just about an hour long. And they recap a uh, previous episode they did. Texas. The previous episode they did. Could that be Tennessee? That could be. I'm not convinced many states have this set up. However, until I figure out otherwise I'm going to keep it on Texas but there's this recent episode they did that is a recap and a this is probably gonna say county well I can't even see it so that has to do with um the uh Turing test and I may get the actual percentages wrong but Alan Turing once said that um, we should all be worried or humanity is doomed. Something to that effect. Now, I don't feel like this is Texas now because their road signs are a bit different. What else has those three? Not Mississippi. Man. Could be Tennessee. I'm going to click there. Um, and they're talking about AI and the Turing test and having these chatbots actually be able to Fool. No, it's Texas. Texas. It's Texas. It's Texas. I see Texas. I'm going to say down here. And I think it's up to 30%. Thank God. Finally good. Good quality. That's Farm Road 22663. I have no idea what that is. This is North 155 Texas, huh? Can I get it in the next 17 seconds? Probably not. But the Turing test, I'm sure y'all don't know. It's a 10% thing. If they get past that, compute where it gets humanities doomed or something. But it's eventually going to happen. They just know it. And I guess the one that most recently duped... Um, yeah, not bad. Duped the most people the most recently. Um, they did a little trick where the bot... They... Um, Designed the bot to be a uh, foreigner who has poor English, and that was something, you know, that came up in the conversation for it, of being like, I'm sorry, my English isn't great, I'm, uh, like, Ukrainian or something, I think they said, and English is my second language, so I don't always pronounce things correctly. Johnny. We're just going to nail it right there and try to find a uh, route around it. We are on world, yes. I double checked because I know how I can mess that up. I've done that a couple of times. 
Jesus, it's taking me too long to get to this point. Anyway, uh, I thought that was interesting. And then they were talking about an uh, experiment they did with kids that had to do with the Furby. And if you don't know what the Furby is, it was one of the first, like, Christmas phenom toys that everyone always talks about when it comes around to Christmas. What's the new Furby or what's going to be the new Tickle Me Elmo? Well, Furby kind of was one of the first ones to do that. And it was a pretty cool toy for what it was. It was this little weird... Uh, mechanical thing. You can look it up on YouTube or just Google it. And it would learn words. And uh, But one of the things they did with it is if you actually turn the thing upside down, it would respond saying, you know, me scared and other things. Say some noises. Act scared. And it would make you want to feel like, oh, I don't want to feel bad for this machine even though it's an inanimate object and all that other stuff. It was just, you know, trying to pull emotions out of you to feel connected to this thing. Check it out. Green screen photography. Nice. Give them a call. Don't give them a call. Just for my sake. And so they took seven-year-olds, I think, with three different toys. One was a Barbie doll, one was a Furby, and the other was a gerbil. And they would time how long these seven, like these kids were okay with, I haven't seen a root, root sign anywhere, I'm a little concerned. See how long they actually hold these things upside down. Barbie, as you can probably imagine, like infinite amount of time, their arms got tired before they actually would flip it upside down. Gerbil, turn it upside down instantly. It was in a matter of seconds. Uh, they would flip it back because, you know, they'd be like, oh, I don't think the gerbil wants to be upside down, so... They feel bad for it. There's empathy because it's a living creature. Then the Furby, um, as you know, like, as I mentioned, they uh, make noise when you flip them upside down. They act scared, be scared, make a bunch of noise, all of their stuff. And the, you can tell the kids were a bit conflicted because they understand that the thing isn't real, but it, it's saying things and makes it you feel sad. That's a dead armadillo. Feel bad for you, buddy. Don't touch him, you get leprosy. And they, I think it averaged out to about a minute they were able to hold it upside down. And uh, they ended up, it's like interesting because, you know, it's not real, technically. And then they went to a discussion with the guy who originally created the Furby, and then they got a huge discussion or debate, whatever you want to call it, whether or not these Furbies were real, because you have to define what is real. I mean, they were programmed to have these reactions to stimuli like if you turn it upside down it makes scared noises that's what it's programmed to do you could also make the argument that humans hey you do a certain thing they're going to go ow that hurts but eventually they made the the furby guy made a bunch of money off this and i guess he just created his own toy company and came up with this new dinosaur that's even more um like reactive i guess you could say i guess we're up there i'm still pretty close and, uh, I, I guess there's this video that went viral about it. I just heard about it on this, um, what was it called? Uh, on this podcast where this toy review company basically, um, beat the shit out of this toy. And, like, one of the things they mentioned about when they were designing this toy was that, you know, if it, like moves around you move it when it's legs aren't like they want to move you kind of like pull it makes that weird pop noise whenever you mess with like mechanical toys it would make it like a crying noise because you're hurting it basically or it's programmed to respond with that reaction wait is this canada or is this england i don't know Let's see this license plate and so these people you know, put it through the test. They were reacting and all this stuff. They were dropping it, hitting it on the table. It was making all the crying noises. And eventually they beat it so much, I guess they broke it. So it would make that crying noise, wailing noise nonstop. And they played quite a bit of it. And it was, I was kind of surprised at my reaction to it. Just because, hey, it's a toy, but, you know, it's making, you're, they're hurting it. And then you just make that mental connection of, hey, this thing is hurting. Why do you keep doing this? It, and almost felt, why do you need a sign for the hydrant? It's right there. Come on. And then they were talking to the uh, creator, and they're like, maybe I made it too responsive. Another fire hydrant sign. 
because he was worried about sociopathic, so yeah, sociopathic. That's probably the wrong way of saying it. Where are we? I don't know. This is America again, I think, but we're Midwest. This easily could be Canada too. I, I, I'm not a hundred percent. Wait, there's a flag here. I saw a flag. It was in the back of your house. Let's take a look. No, that was just a, okay. Still no idea. Because I guess he was worried that people were getting the like, positive negative feedback, being like, hey, this we're, we're we're causing I'm getting a reaction out the reaction I want or some sort of stimulus response to what I'm doing to this thing. And it was kind of weird. And the, the end of it, I'm trying to remember what the end of the podcast was. Shit, I just listened to this yesterday. And I spent so much time talking about this, I need to have I need to have a finisher for this. Otherwise, we're like, well, why the hell are you babbling on about this? I'm getting flustered that I don't know where the hell we are, and I've got, I've got very little time left. This is just nondescript. Yeah, I got less than a minute. What the fuck is this? I got I gotta make a guess, and I'm gonna be terribly off, regardless of what this ends up being. I feel this could be Canada. And there's it just refuses to give me any information. Come on. One of you has got to have a flag somewhere on your property. Come on. Come on. Fifty meters, Canada. All right, I thought I felt like this was Canada. I hope I'm still right. I'm I'm getting flustered. I'm gonna say we're like here. This is gonna be a terrible score, I think. This. What's this say? Oh oh oh! Go back. Click. That's one. That's all. This this very well could be like in this section here. I'm gonna click there. See where I am. Oh, we're farther up north. Jesus Christ! That took so long to get to. What is this? We're near the ascension of the North Signatures. Four stars. Oh, man. I've lost my train of thought, and I'm sorry I spent all this time talking about this nonsense. Oh! The last thing they talked about here, which kind of was the whole reason I wanted to talk about this, was... Uh, Hello, sign. What language are we in? Wow. I think this is Mexico or South America. Help me. Rhonda. Anybody, please. Um, nothing here. Just keep. Cabron. Carbon. Okay. Well, the 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 new thing that well, it's not new. It's been around for a while. They're just making another like push surge with it. Is VR and uh, this one like a uh, Spanish. I think it's a psychologist came up with this VR thing where they uh, put you in this room and then you sit down. You look at it. And they're like, okay, I'm in a room. And then they see a mirror, you see yourself, I'm like, hey, this is me. And apparently the the brain has a very quick uh, reaction to see things in a mirror and just automatically internalize it as you. I guess it's just like an instinct thing. He's like, see mirror, see reflection equals me. I'm moving my head, it's moving its head. It's kind of like the whole trick of VR doing this stuff to you. And so they have you flash into this... Uh, where the hell is this? Into this, like, psycho... Oh, wait, there was a flag here. This was a flag. I think that might have just been a banner and not a flag. Yeah, you're just a banner. Is that a flag? What the fuck is this place? Where... Are we? 
This is a real tough one. Argento, Candelaria. Are you the color? I'm just going to do this. Just because you're the color of Argentina. I have nothing else to base this on. This looks like nowhere in Argentina. That Well, there are the mar mountains over there. Uh, let's look at... Uh, click Mendoza. Maybe you're there. You got the mountains kind of in the background here. I'm passing a lot of like little shops here, but nothing is telling me anything I need to know. They sell absinthe. What is this place? Anyway, you're in the, the you're transported to this room. You're like in a psychiatry or psychiatrist room. And then they make a little thing over the P announcer being like, tell me something that's troubling you. And then the guy does. And the next thing you know, he just teleports to the other side of the room. And he looks in the mirror and is like, I'm Sigmund Freud. Okay. And then you're sitting in the chair looking back at your virtual self. And you just hear whatever you said being played back to you. And then you're just like, now respond to this person. And it's just like, you come up with the information that would help your situation out. I really hope I nailed Argentina. Let's see how bad this is. Okay, I wasn't that far off. Apparently that was Chile. All right. And eventually this guy was able to realize when we got questionably fortunate, maybe a little disappointing that it's just been all like U.S. and then that one other one. But what are you going to do? Can I not? I want to go. There. I guess I can't go there. All right, fine. We'll go this way. Have it your way. Um, actually, I'm going to go back to that row. Because maybe there's a sign. It tells me where I am. Nope. We're, uh, we're just here. Fine. All right. Let's just go back this way then. I wasted enough time. And it makes you wonder, like, no emergency route. So we get a lot of snow here. Are we, uh, are we over, uh, here in this area? Possibly. And when you, like, boil down to what psychiatry is, you're just going in a room and talking to somebody. And granted, that's what you do with your friends a lot. Just some things you feel real embarrassed if you're actually to talk to your friends about it. But I feel like that's horribly dismissing what psychi like psychologists or psychiatrists, which one is it? I can't remember. It's like astrology and astronomy. I think astronomy is a legit one, and then astrology is just the hor horoscope stuff, but I could be wrong. Um, buzzer beaters. I think this is all I'm going to get here is I'm going to like guess where we are in like the last couple of seconds of each. I just see speed limits. You're real adamant about these speed limit signs, buddy. And snow emergency route. Okay, what's to say? Potentially adopt. Ferguson Township adopt a road program. Sunrise Rotary Club. Nothing helps me. Is that a another adopt the highway I have no idea this could be like upstate New York could be Montana I don't know I'm not finding anything here to help me this is just general farmland but farmlands kind of everywhere that's kind of how the basis of most it says oak I really feel like I didn't pay off that long babbling discussion about the thing with machine AI and whatnot and whether or not you abuse robots. I feel like that's um, like a obvious trope that a lot of science fiction has of just people being like, what, they're not real? And then they end up being killed by it. And I'm sure that Detroit come human with uh, David Cage ham fisting his way through it, just being like, Checking all those boxes. Hey, it's racism, folks. Just not very cleverly or nuanced. 50 seconds. I've got nothing. 
I gotta start looking at license plates, I think. I mean, I'm not dismissing the guy. He's done some good stuff in the past. Yeah, David Bowie in a game. Good for him. But I think that, or at least I believe that AI, like actual artificial intelligence, when it becomes, you know, that, that issue of sentience, the Turing test. Wow, I got to make a guess here. Oh my god, I got 20 seconds. Okay. South 26. Fuck. Fuck, 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 fuck. Um, Midwest, Midwest. We get snow. Montana, I'm way off. Yep, Pennsylvania. I had nothing. And you know what? I'm so mad. Because I did so amazingly well. For this entire round with getting like last second guesses for everything. I had nothing to go on with that last one. And I felt so confident. I wasn't even saying it out loud that we're going to get a pretty high score today. We had so many gimp Three, well, yeah, three U.S. guesses. One Canada guess. And then the Argentina one. But I got nothing on that one. And I'm kind of mad. But I have to give my performance on... Well, this is just Game 7 choking. Tim Wakefield, Aaron fucking Boone. Look all that stuff up. But that's another day down, at least. Uh, learn from my mistakes. I don't know what they are, because that was 100% random. I saw nothing to tell me what I needed to know for that guess. But anyway, thank you all for watching. If you could, like, favorite, comment, subscribe. Tell me... What I missed on that last one that could have easily told me where to go. Because you saw everything I was looking at. I had nothing. But if you saw something that I didn't, let me know. But uh, for everyone over here, thank you for watching. Check out the other stuff we got on the channel. Again, Uncharted is not working. So you can always watch the filler stuff we have going on for the rest of the week. Um, Nidhogg 2, it's great. That's come, That came out yesterday. And uh, the little special thing we got coming out tomorrow. But anyway, have a good day, folks. We will see you next time. Goodbye.